What's up guys, this is Ultima High Device Vids, and today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys 20 free tweaks for iOS 14. All the tweak names, sources, and video timestamps can be found in the description down below. Atria allows you to easily edit your home screen layout. Just triple tap anywhere on your home screen, and then you could select either home screen pages or dock, and then when you do that, as you can see, you're presented with a whole host of things that you can change. For instance, rows, columns, icon size, widget scale, etc. And when you change any of these things, as you can see, it applies a immediately. And there's a whole host of options to configure with this tweak, some of which can be found in the home screen settings here, and some of which can be found inside the settings for the tweak in the settings app. Amelia allows you to set custom blur effects for your lock screen and home screen wallpapers, as you can see right here. And if you go into the settings for this tweak, you can configure it for both lock screen and home screen, respectively. I'm using the epic blur effect, as you can see right here. Arizona allows you to change the position of the clock on the lock screen slash cover sheet area to to your liking. You could either move it to the left or right side using the preset options, or you could use a custom position and put it anywhere you want. And this could all be configured inside of the settings for Arizona. And you could also change the position of the lock glyph on the lock screen slash cover sheet area as well. Eraser allows you to easily close all applications in your app switcher just by one tap of a button in the upper right hand corner, as you can see, just like that. And of course, there's a bunch of options to configure in the tweaks settings panel. Digital clock will change the standard analog clock icon to a digital digital one, as you can see right here. And if you guys head over to the settings for this tweak, you can configure a few different options. April allows you to customize the appearance of your settings application through either adding a gradient effect, as you can see right here, or through adding a custom image of your choice. And this could all be configured inside the settings for the tweak. There's a whole host of options to configure. Hijack allows you to hide the status bar in certain areas of iOS on your device. So if you head over to the settings for this tweak, as you can see, you could choose to hide it on the lock screen, the home screen, the control center, or specific applications of your your choice. For instance, as you can see right now, I currently have it hidden on my home screen. However, again, when I open up an application, it's still there. I also chose to hide it in my messages application, as you can see, just like that. Mini Banner 14 makes the drop down banner notifications much smaller, as you can see, as to not block so much of your content. In iOS 14, Apple changed the standard date and time picker mechanism from the wheel mechanism that was used in previous versions of iOS to this mechanism that you see here on the left. You could still use it like a wheel by spinning it as you can see, but you could also type in information. However, if you miss the old mechanism, date picker wheels does bring it back as you can see on the right. Today shortcut places an icon on your home screen that allows you to easily get to the today widgets view as you can see, and you can put that icon anywhere on your home screen. AEA allows you to customize the way that your notification banners appear in addition to a few other settings. As you can see, I made my banner notifications very transparent, and I also hid the app icon that normally is there to indicate which application the notification came from just going for that cleaner appearance. And of course, this can all be configured inside the settings for the tweak. If you go into notifications, as you can see, there's a ton of options that pertain to the banner notifications in addition to a few other things. And you'll also notice a widgets section in the settings panel. However, the widget customization does not work on iOS 14. Normally in iOS, when you're using the two by two battery widget to check the battery of various devices that you have, it's not gonna show you the individual percentage of specific devices in each little circle. So if you have multiple, you won't be able to tell the specific percentages. However, with ring percent label, as you can see, it will do that. Now in this case, because I don't have any other devices connected to these two phones, of course it shows the phone percentage big down there, but as soon as I added more, that would go away and that's when this would be useful. I'm trying to vibe will prevent any application that's currently playing audio on your device from being closed in the app switcher, as you could see, until the audio is paused and then the application will be able to be closed just like any other app. Safari Fast Type makes it so whenever you open up a new tab in Safari, the keyboard is automatically brought up as you can see. This prevents you from having to tap in the top bar first. SB Page Control Hidden will hide the page dots that normally appear at the bottom of the screen to indicate which home screen page you're on. And as a result of disabling the page indicator, this tweak also disables the ability to enable and disable specific home screen pages as you're normally able to do that by tapping on the page dot indicators when you're editing your home screen. So this tweak disables that functionality and gives you that clean look without any page dots. Libellum adds an area to your lock screen slash cover sheet area that allows you to easily jot down a note without ever having to even unlock your device. And if you head over to the settings for Libellum, there's a whole host of options to configure. Chat wall allows you to set any custom image as the background for your messages application. You could set two separate images for the conversation list and the conversation view, or you could use the same image 
image for both. And all of this, in addition to a few other options, can be configured inside the settings for chat wall. And once you make your changes in here, go ahead and press save. In my experience, I also had to respring in order for some changes to take an effect. Notify 10 brings the old iOS 10 style of notification banners to iOS 14, with the top portion of the notification having that different shade. Normally in iOS, when you're doing certain things on your device, and when you're inside of certain applications on your device, the status bar will automatically hide. For instance, normally in iOS, when you're watching a video on your device in full screen mode, the status bar is hidden. However, with force bar, you're able to set certain applications so the status bar will always appear no matter what. And you're also able to configure it for the reverse situation as well. So if you want certain applications to always hide the status bar, you're also able to do that. As you can see, I've done that for the calendar application. And of course, all this can be configured inside the settings for force bar. Double today replaces the app library feature in iOS 14 with the today view. So now you're able to access the today view from either side of the home screen with this tweak. But all right, everybody, that just about wraps it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.